Um, I have about plan B in about two years now. Hip hip parade for that, huh? Not bad, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember it was two years ago. It was this girl, she was like 20. The condom broke. And she was just so bad that like the animal side of me was just like, fuck it, man, just bust. And I did it. And I remember when I did it, she was just like, yo, you just put the cookies in the Easy Bake oven. I was like, oh shit, gotta go get that plan B. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up real quick to what the fuck I just did. Went to CVS. They only had one left. The box was all crinkled and shit. <laughs> I was like, here we go. No kids. I'm still here. I'm safe. All right, let's get on with these dumb jokes. Um, I like fried chicken. I'm a really big fan of fried chicken. And no, it's not just because I'm black. I really do like fried chicken. Um, I go to Vons every Friday and buy uh, four buckets of eight-piece fried chicken for five dollars. So that's twenty dollars every week. And like, man, does that come in handy? Like, just a life hack tip. If there's any food out there that you can eat every day. Okay, if there's any food out there that you can eat every day after smoking a blunt, <laughs> you should put that in your freezer. I'm gonna say that. If it's sushi, just do it, man. It's great, great life tips. No more being hangry. It's great stuff. Um, who remembers the little S's we used to draw like back in elementary school? Is it just me or do we all do that like? With the, yeah, the diamond. Where the fuck does that come from? Like, everybody knows it. No matter when you bring it up, you smile. You know what you're talking about. It's carbon and dust. Yeah, it's carbon and dust and everything. I think that is like the devil's way of taking our souls. Like, when we were in elementary school, we all did that shit. We lost our souls. Because there's no beginning to it. I looked it up on Wikipedia. There's no description. It's just there. Everybody knows about it. And we still do it. I did it on my hand, right here. You can't even read it. But whatever. Bad joke. I've been wondering, why is it uh, a bad thing when I go up to a kid and try and sell him candy, and when he tries to sell me candy, it's called fundraising. Like, why, <laughs> why am I the bad person in this equation? Candy's good for you, man. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to help him out. Uh, porn's an okay thing. It's okay. It's, I mean, I, it's kind of overrated. I mean, people praise it all the time. But um, I just want to say Twitter porn is phenomenal. If you guys don't know this, there's porn on Twitter. And it's like by regular people, like you and me, just shooting it with their cell phones. And I recently found a, a Twitter page from Saudi Arabia. And, yo, that shit is dangerous as fuck. Like... Couldn't they die for posting that shit? I mean, I might be the bad person for watching that shit because I'm just, you know, improving. I press like on those videos, but they could die for that shit. It's kind of hot. It's not even a joke. <laughs> Dumb shit I'm jacking off to today. Twitter porn. Yeah, y'all never been so broke that you just couldn't leave the relationship that you was in? Like... <laughs> Like you want to leave her, but you got to use her car in the morning to do some shit. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. I'm not saying I'm in that relationship right now, but I hope she never hears this joke. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you ever find yourself like with a new chick who's like, I mean, she's not an eight on a Richter scale, but she's like a 7.7. .7. And you just think that you can get away with using some cheap alcohol in an expensive alcohol bottle. Has anybody <laughs> ever done that? Like I recently bought the new Amsterdam peach and put it in a Ciroc peach alcohol container just to pass it off. That's not day rate, that's just cheap rate. I don't know, that's not, like I'm not Bill Cosby in her. I'm just, it's still alcohol. I didn't put anything else in it. It's just a little cheaper. That's all I'm saying. I'm not a bad person. Dating in the lays of Catch-22. Uh, I keep finding these 22 year olds and they keep leaving me, man. It sucks. 
Last one moved down to Santa Monica. I live right here around the corner. I don't do long distance relationships. <laughs> so that didn't work out. I got one mile radius on my Tinder profile. <laughs> <I'm> lazy. <laughs> Trying to read these jokes off my hand, but it's kind of faded out. I was talking to a veteran comedian the other day, and he was just like, Hey, look, man, if you ever get anxious on stage, write your jokes down on your hand before you get up there. I was like, All right, cool bet. And then he said, You should just rub one out real quick in the bathroom just to clear your anxiety. It's kind of hard to read these jokes, that's all I'm saying. It was my left hand, though. I'm all doing my right hand. It's good. I'm left-handed, not really. Oh man, I work for a company called Box Water. Box Water is great, it's water in a box. Um, I was recently smoking, thinking about like, how did Box uh, Water first get created? I just imagine uh, the creator in his house, just lazy as hell, like not not have done, he, like he didn't do the dishes yet, and he's just like looking for something to drink out of. So he just finds a box and puts water in it and puts money behind it. I don't know what that act out looks like, but it's definitely not this. He wasn't like, box of water, I'm going to drink this. All right, last joke. Uh, my apartment manager came at me wrong today. He was just like, hey, man, uh, I was looking over your contract, and you put 911 as your emergency contact. <laughs> and you can't do that. And I looked at him dumb and was like, what? You want me to put my mom? Was you going to call my mom? And then what's she going to tell you? 911, bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's always the answer for emergency contact. All right, I'm out. Wouldn't be lovely, everyone. Give it up for Emmanuel Gray one more time.